G'day golfers. Well, who can believe it's US Masters week once again, and we might actually be lucky enough to witness Tiger Woods back in action. Who would have thought? So with the extremely tight fairways and super slick greens at Augusta, we're gonna see plenty of those bump and run shots. So that's what we're focusing on today, the proper technique to use for those chip and runs, when you should play them, what club to use, and how to do it with some margin of error as well. Now stick around, we're gonna reveal the winner of our recent Red Belly Active competition, and we've got another competition, a US Masters competition for you. Steve's got something really special in the bag for you. I'm Glenn Haynes. Welcome to Aussie Golf Pros, where we help you make the most of your game. If you're faced with a chip and run shot like this one, then a lot of golfers think that you should put the ball back in your stance to try to hit down on the golf ball and make sure you hit the ball first. But the problem with that is that you can very easily get this type of shot where if you don't get it just right, if you just hit a little bit of turf first, then you're going to grab the grass and you're not gonna get through the shot very well. It's fine if you hit the ball first, and that's the key. You really have to make sure you hit the ball first. You've got no margin of error when you put the ball back in your stance and get so steep on the shot. So instead, what I encourage you to do is leave the ball slightly forward in your stance. By all means, push the shaft forward a little bit, and if it's not enough loft, then go down a club. So I've got sand wedge here, and I'll need to carry the ball quite away and it still hasn't quite made it to the pin. So let's drop back down to a gap wedge and get the ball rolling a little bit further. We still want the shaft slightly forward when playing this chip and run shot, but by having the ball slightly forward, it means that we're sweeping the grass. We've got much more margin of error. And if you do catch an inch or so behind the golf ball, then you're still gonna get a good result out of it. We're not getting so steep that we have to be really spot on. So ball slightly forward, I've gone back to gap wedge, so this will roll out a little bit further and just sweeping the grass. And we can see that it'll run up that hill and get up next to the pin. That gives us that margin of error. Now I hit a little bit of grass before that ball because I was sweeping along there and really feeling like you're just getting a bit of a broom shot sweeping along, you're actually catching about four or five inches of grass. Most of it's after the golf ball, but it gives you that margin of error so you don't have to be precise and you can get away with a bit of a mistake. Of course, you're not limited to gap wedge. When you have a long shot like this with lots of green to work with, it makes sense to use even lower loft. I have a seven iron here. I'm gonna leave the ball position in the same spot, slightly forward. I'm gonna have the shaft slightly forward. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to get the shaft up higher. What that does is it lowers the toe down and that actually reduces the effective loft of your golf club. Same as if you're hitting a flop shot, you'd get away from the ball and get your hands and the shaft lower to add loft. I'm gonna get really close to this shot and that's gonna get it to come out nice and low and running. Now to me, that's a lot safer and a lot easier shot than trying to fly it nearly all the way to the flag and trying to judge your distance control with the pitch shot. It's not impossible to do it that way, and we are gonna see some tour pros at Augusta fly it all the way to the pin sometimes, maybe to take a slope out of play, but if you can chip and run it, it's a safer option. Okay, drum roll. I'm pleased to announce the winner of our Red Belly Active Polo giveaway is Ozcats Joe. Thank you everybody so much for entering, and Joe will be in touch very soon to find out your favorite Red Belly Active Polo. So on to our US Masters competition. G'day guys, it's Steve from Aussie Golf Pros and it is Masters week. It's my favorite week of the year and it's even more exciting this year because the cat's back. Now, being Masters week, Aussie Golf Pros on YouTube, it means it's giveaway time and we have a really awesome specific prize for you this year. Official 2021 Hideki Matsuyama Masters flag. My kids are half Japanese, so it was really important to me. We are actually gonna give one of these away. So, it's an official 2021 Masters flag. Glenn will give you the details. I look forward to seeing you all shortly. Have an awesome, awesome week. And it's Masters week, so we can't go wrong. See you guys soon. There it is right there. It's the genuine article. All players that pick the correct winner of the US Masters this year 
going to the draw to win that fantastic Augusta flag. Enter as many times as you like. You have to enter a comment below before Tom Watson hits his opening tee shot as honorary starter at the US Masters. Congratulations, such a great honor, well deserved. Now, it's not all about those chip and run shots. If you wanna learn how to play those high, soft landing shots around the greens, then pop it in the corner here. We've got a great video to help you learn how to play that shot. It's a completely different setup to the chip and run. Thanks so much for watching. Are you the best golfer you can be?